Thank you for tuning in. This is Pastor Sonny with the Lifehouse Church. If you hear a word and it changes you, come and visit us. We're at 6254 Memorial Drive, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Website is www.yourlifehouse.org. We hope to see you this Sunday. I love you and God bless you. Check out this amazing word from God. The, the past tense of the word implies that, that, that it has already been done. Oh, y'all, that was, a, that was a moment. Y'all, I
go the long way to get there. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Jesus, my boss lady. Rough. Rough working for that lady. Can I get an amen? Uh, so praise will help you overcome your sins. Can I get a y'all saw the analogy, right? Say so praise will help you to overcome your sins. So in the midst of your mess, begin to praise God like never before. See, we got it backwards. We want to praise God when he's doing good stuff for us. We want to praise him when everything's going well. But how about you praise him in the midst of your mess? Touch your neighbor and say, praise him. Praise him. Ooh, ooh. Psalms 30 and 11 says this. You have turned to me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. You got to, you got to change your environment. You can change some people around if you would just break into a praise. Come on, some of y'all say, I can't sing a lick, Pastor. Guess what? Singing ain't the only form of praise you can do. Yes, I got some melodic melodies and all the other good stuff, but guess what? That ain't my only form of praise. When I run outside and I'm grabbing doors, when my, it, well, you know, my man on point, but when they, when they wasn't always on point, and you saw me outside in my double-breasted suit, shod down to the feet, holding an umbrella, making sure you got inside good, that was a form of praise unto God. Are you hearing me? When you don't see me here and I'm covered in all kinds of stuff because I'm running lines through the wall and I got stuff in my eyeballs and my hair and everything and, and all sorts of stuff is happening. That is my praise unto the Lord. That is my sound of gladness and appreciation. Say, I love you so much, God, that I want to do something for you. That's why the next one, the, the Owen power, is offering. Yes, yes, yes. Pastor, I got some, some, some shady things on my mind. I'm trying to figure out how to get this money. I'm trying to figure out how to come up, trying to figure out what I got to do because I'm, I'm sick of struggling. So, you know, I'm like, you know, there's all sorts of things that you, you consider. And, and, and what God is saying is if you would just give me all of that. If you would just make a sacrificial offering to me, I will free you from the bondage of your finances. If you would pay your tithes and your offering, you wouldn't be so worried about your money because you made a, a, a signed deal with me where I'm telling you that, 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 that as you give unto me, I will, I will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that you may not have room enough to receive. Now, it may not come when you want it, but every time you need it, God will show up on your behalf. Listen, listen, listen. Before my car even sold, I had four jobs this weekend. And it wasn't hard labor. Most of the time, I was chilling. So even if the car didn't sell, God had a secondary plan in place where I still was going to be able to make my down payment if I wanted to get me a car this weekend. Am I talking to somebody? Sometimes God will cover you if you will just trust him. Will you trust him? Will you trust him? If you'll trust him, then, then make an offering unto him of yourself. He says, I want your time, your talent, and your tenth. Who they quiet? Who you can that, that, was, that was like this. I'm preaching to myself. The, the Lord said he wants your time, your talent, and your tenth. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> So, 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 so say, we've got to make an offering unto the Lord of our time, our talent, and our tent. Uh, Proverbs 3, verses 9 and 10 says this, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruit of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will be bursting with wine. I am the best wine. Come on, come on, come on. Say offering. Offering. Now, the, 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 the W in the power is worship. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. Well, ooh, I just got an analogy. What's the difference between praise and worship? You're praising him. You're praising him. You're thanking him for what he's doing for you. But when you worship him, you submit to him. You, you, you admonish him as Lord of Lords and King of Kings. You ever seen the, the, the people who are down and they're worshiping? 
Lord of Lords and King of Kings, Lord, you are my everything. I give it all to you. Are you hearing me? This is worship. When you're saying, God, I place you above everything that I have. I place you above all that I know. I give every situation that I'm dealing with. I just, I surrender my all to you, Lord. That's worship. That's worship. Will you surrender it all to him? Will you worship him even in the midst of your sin? Teach us, See, the problem is some of us want to get it right before we get with God. Come on now. Word my mama used to use and coin so ever so eloquently. You moron. <laughs> That's about the much, cuss much cussing I got. And I thank God for that. Amen. You could be a moron. If you did some moronic things, can I get an amen? amen. So, um, it is moronic to, to even think or believe that you can fix yourself. Amen. But, yes. but, there is an easy solution. Come on. If we will take on the love of Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that he has made and let him fix us amen. and die to ourselves daily, our sinful nature daily, the stuff we go through daily, then can we come into his grace and he can fully use us. Amen. amen. Are you with me? Say worship. worship. Romans 12 and 1 says this, I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercy of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your spiritual worship. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Look at your neighbor and say worship. The E stands for exaltation. What does it mean to exalt? It's a noun. It means a feeling or state of extreme happiness. Uh, uh, elation, joy, rapture, happiness, delight, gladness, ecstasy. Uh, when you put God above all of your stuff, and he becomes bigger than everything that you deal with. Y'all hear me say this again and again. The more you exalt him, the, the, the smaller your stuff appears. The more you're focused on him. But the, oh, yeah, that's I, I've seen that before. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's a fire, but he's got it. Are you hearing me? See, some of y'all, when problems come in, you're like, oh, woe is me. Oh, Jesus, help me. Help me fix this. Lord, I can't take it. Oh, I ain't going to make it. I don't know how. Oh, thank you, God. Appreciate you. He fixes it and you're back on the life. Then the next situation comes. Oh, what was me? Help me, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I don't know how I'm going to make it. Oh, girl, did you know I was going through? Did you see this? You know how this happened? Blah, 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 blah. And you're going through so much, so much stuff on top of your stuff. Because you exalted your issues versus exalting God. Come on. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Somebody see that phone call coming through. You got it. Do I really want to answer this? What I already know. What he or she going to be talking about. Yes. With the grace in you. Yes. Hello? Girl, how you doing? Uh, why are you dragging? Why are you dragging? Why are you so down and out? Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. Yes, you do know how you're going to make it. You're reading the same Bible I read. Can I give you a little bit of encouragement? I'm going to exalt my heavenly father, even in a place of sadness. Even when I'm going through, I'm still going to lift him up. And by lifting him up, I am drawing closer to him and focusing on him. And I have a little hard time looking back at that stuff. Are you hearing me? Say, so exalt him. Who play me some song? We're coming up on the last one, right? And the R stands for repent. Because the word did not say, listen, listen to my self-righteous and indignant folk. Don't get it messed up. Don't say get it twisted, but I'm trying to be more clear. Don't get it messed up. Listen to me as I say this. There's not a single person in this room who is without sin. Who shall not fall once or twice in their life, or maybe again and again? It's okay. 
We've all fallen. We've all been there. Stop beating yourself up and simply repent and give it to God. Listen, 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 listen. 1 John 1 and 9 says this. If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us. Ooh, ooh. If that was the end of it, that would be great, right? But look what it continues to say. Forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ooh, ooh. What does all encompass? What does, what does all surmount to? So that means that, that, that if we repent of our sins, the sin that we're dealing with right now. Yeah. The sin we know about. Hallelujah. You're telling me that he's going to clean the whole slate? Yeah. He didn't say you have to start listing your sins. He says to repent of your sins and he will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Come on, somebody, somebody say, I, I, I'm thankful that God will cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Ooh. Oh, y'all not hear me. Y'all not hear me. God say, I will cleanse you from every situation that you're facing, not just some of the situations. Revelations 2 and 5 says this. He says, look how far you have fallen. He says, turn back to me and do the works you did at first. Yes, yes. To repent means to turn. Oh. To repent means to turn. It means to, to, to turn that thing around. We've got to, 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 to look at your neighbor and say, I am turning it around. No, you're not saying it like you mean it. Stand on your feet, if you're willing, and tell your neighbor with all power and that God has given you, say, I'm turning it around. Say, I'm done dealing with my yesterday. I'm done dealing with the sins of my today. I'm turning it around. You've got to turn it around. We've got to remember how good God was to us, how much he's done for us, and we've got to return Back to his glory. Power, power, power. Say praise. Praise. Offering. Offering. Worship. Worship. Exaltation. Exaltation. And repentance. And repentance. Gives us the power. Gives us the power. To overcome sins. To overcome sins. Say praise. Praise. Offering. Offering. Worship. Worship. Exaltation. Exaltation. And repentance. And repentance. Gives us the power to overcome sins. So with, with all of those things, knowing that God is going to, 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 to kill your sins, say, I, I'm done with that. No, you got to say it like you mean to say, I'm done with that. But here's the problem. What is the that for you? We all ain't sharing the same that. You know what that thing is in your life that's trying to kill you. Yes. You know what that thing is that's trying to ruin your marriage. Yes. You know what that thing is that's trying to, to, to derail your progress. You know what that thing is that's trying to keep you from making good grades, babies. You know what that thing is that is trying to hold you back. It's trying to make you into a liar, trying to make you into a cheater, trying to make you into a thief, trying to make you into all of these different things that God never called you to be. You know what that thing is. That could be your cousin. That could be your best friend. That could be the TV channel you just happen to so breezingly turn to ever so often or that episode that's pulling you into pornography and sinful living. Whatever that thing is for your life, you got to declare it in this atmosphere and say, I'm free from that. Don't you allow the enemy to take you a place where God doesn't want you to go. I'm free. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, God. 
Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, God, asking that you give us the power to overcome our sins. God, when we see the sins coming and stirring up in our spirits, we're going to praise you like never before. We're going to offer ourselves up to you like never before. We're going to worship you like never before. We're going to exalt you like never before. And we're going to repent if we fall. We're not going to waddle in our sins, God. We're not going to stay there. We're not going to beat ourselves up and make ourselves feel like we don't deserve your grace because you give it to us freely, God. The band-aid is there. We're not going to take advantage of it, God, but we recognize that when we fall, you'll pick us back up again, Lord. You'll pick us back up again, God. So we give it all to you. We want to be free, Lord. Freedom today is ours. Freedom today is ours. Oh, we want to be free, O oh Lord. Oh, we want to be free, O oh Lord. Freedom today is ours. Freedom today is ours. Oh, we want to be free, O oh Lord. Oh, we want to be free, oh, Lord. Freedom today is ours. Freedom today is ours. Oh, we want to be free, oh, Lord. Oh, we want to be free, oh, Lord. Say it with me. Oh, we want to be free, oh, Lord.
standing at a crossroads. Stand on your feet, if you will. You are standing at a crossroad. And you're, you're right there, and you're trying to decide, do I go towards God and his righteousness, or do I remain in this sinful life, or do I go back to the things that, that, that I thought were good to me, but were actually trying to kill me? There are some people in this room who are at a crossroad. And you're ready to go in the right direction. Make your way to this altar right now. We want to pray with you. Come from wherever you are. Tell your neighbors to, to make room for you. Come from wherever you are. Say, I've got to get this right with God. Don't slow down. Get to the altar right now. Now is the time to shake that sin cloud off your life. I'm done dealing with my situations. I'm done dealing with these issues. I'm at a crossroad and I'm deciding on today that I'm going to be free from my